For 75 years, the town of Del Mar has been very proud of its library, and like many things in the town, too big for one state, it's better than your average small town library. For two years, though, the Del Mar Public Library has been, shall we say, indisposed. But they're not giving up, as we see in tonight's by state edition of Travels with Charlie. This is the Del Mar Public Library. Only the library is not here right now. 38481 Sussex Highway, Del Mar, Delaware, 19940. Which is where? At the old Bull Feathers location next to what? Furniture Land. <laughs> From a pedestrian standpoint, the Del Mar Public Library is no longer in Del Mar. Correct. The library's central location has always been important. We are a few blocks from the middle and high school and even the elementary school. And we would have middle and high schoolers walk to the library. We would have the after school programs. We had a teen room where they would come in and hang out. They could use the computers. They would read magazines, books. But it was safe. It was indoors and they felt comfortable there. For after school, we have no kids that come here now. That means they're outside, they're in the parks. Is that heartbreaking? It's very heartbreaking. Now this wasn't supposed to happen. Two years ago, the Library Commission broke ground for a long overdue expansion. It was only after they moved out that the cost estimates went up. But they never gave up. We have a commitment of $3.5 million from NCAL, and now we're securing the USDA permanent financing uh, for after the construction loan. They've done countless fundraisers. Why, $15 beef and dumpling dinner at the VFW this Sunday sounds pretty good. Is it all you can eat? All you can eat. And you need how much money? $1.5 million. All right, so how many dinners is that? What is it, Heather? It's um, 100,000. 100,000 beef and dumpling dinners. <laughs> That's a lot of beef and dumplings. That's a lot of beef and dumplings. <laughs> <laughs> Now, the Del Mar Public Library will find its way back to 101 North State Street, where it belongs, for one simple reason. There is no town on earth that is more focused on its young people than the town too big for one state. In Del Mar, Delaware, this is Charles Paparella for WBOC News. And Charlie says, if you're not in the mood for beef and dumplings, how about a nice uh, few bricks instead? Because inscribed bricks for the new building are available for only $5.